Greetings Fencers, I know, I know, a series on Fiore was probably not expected, but bear with me. When I started my Hema journey, the first two books I started with was Joachim Meyer's Kunst des Fächen and Fiore de Libri's Fior di Battaglia, or Flower of Battle. I did end up though falling in love with the early Teto sources and Lichnauer's system. It is absolutely my favorite for Longsword and the Bloßfächen Teto is how I think and fence. I do have some sources that stand out as my primaries, but I see the Teto sources as one and always work to connect them. If you're very against that, then read Meyer and 3227A side by side. There are many elements and pieces of advice only found in those two. Obviously stuff does change over decades, but usually there are more similarities than differences. I wanted to learn as much as I could about historical fencing, and that meant I tried to read any source I can find. I even learned German to read the sources. Ich kann ein bisschen Deutsch sprechen. But throughout all that time, I was still separately learning Fiore's system. I wanted to know more about combat throughout the medieval period, so staying in the earlier 1400s, and that meant that Fiore was an obvious thing I wanted to learn. Now first, I do want to say that this series is not for replacing information from instructors who teach Fiore, but instead it is for people like me who are starting without a club, and for people who study the German system. This series has four goals. First, is to stop people falling into the pitfall of seeing Fiore as a counterfighter. Fiore set up his manuscript as all counter moves, and also plays into it in some areas. He's often teaching the ultra high class how to fight against people who are unskilled or people who can't spend hours a day practicing fencing. But if you go against someone the same skill level as you, and you just wait to react, then you will die. Action is always faster than reaction, always. Whether you're playing hockey, soccer, or communicating in a workplace, or it's large scale warfare, Fiore knows this. He also teaches knights who fight in tournaments against other skilled men. There are pieces of advice and hints in the manuscript for taking the initiative. Now you can absolutely counter fence, watch my sparring videos and you'll see both, but we'll look at the plays and how to use them offensively so it's not reliant on the other person. 2. Not looking at the plays as one move but as a concept. Fiore is usually teaching a principle or concept in the play, so it can be done more ways and with any weapon. It doesn't usually matter what side or what foot is forward. Once you know the concept, you can take these plays and use them in many situations, and they become more useful. When you're learning plays in the wrestling section, those are your fundamentals for your longsword section too. And three, I use Fiore's system to practice connecting weapon systems because it's nicely laid out. I then took what I learned back to the German sources to help connect those manuscripts too. The German manuscripts are far more spread out, but what I saw was that most of Fiore's wrestling and dagger had exact carbon copies in the German manuscripts. When it comes to wrestling, strength and efficiency are more important, and we see that they were teaching the same thing. We can also find many of these in martial arts across the world, so for a German practitioner it is not a bad idea to look at Fiore's wrestling and dagger. However, going to the sword, we do see that they are almost never identical copies, but instead equivalents. Similar things that serve the same goal, but are absolutely not the same thing. Weapons are equalizers and allow room for variety in different tactics and art forms. But are you surprised to hear that this play is in the German system? It is shown in a variety of weapons throughout the German sources. I use this concept almost every time I spar, whether wrestling, dagger, messer, rapier, or longsword. And I wouldn't ever call it Italian, it's within the German system. So if you're very surprised by that, you may find this series interesting. I will always try to bring in the German images and plays that are the equivalent. And lastly, it will also be for me to get better in Fiori system and learn more about historical fencing. The next episode is starting off in the Abrazzare or wrestling section, because that is where fencing begins. As it says in Master Oat's poem, if you want to be skillful in knighthood, then you must before all else learn wrestling. When I say to you honestly, wrestling is indeed a foundation for all knightly activity. Without wrestling, much does evade your grasp. You don't stand a chance in any duels. Condemn then, if you cannot wrestle. And you can check out my Zettel series throughout all the verses of Lichnauer's Zettel. Thanks for watching, keep studying, keep practicing. Oh, yeah, bye. For a second. <laughs>